Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquay of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. I'd like to capture my thoughts this, uh, this morning with Commander Geography. You know, when I was reading 1 Kings chapter 17, something just hit me. Now, in, in the beginning of 1 Kings chapter 17, and God then tells Elijah, go to the brook Cherith. Hide yourself at the brook called Cherith. So Cherith was a geography of God. And God said to Elijah, you go to Cherith and hide yourself. So God then tells Elijah, listen, there's something I'm about to do for you. And I want you to go and stay at the brookside called Cherith. And I'm going to teach you principles. And I'm going to put some things in you. And I'm going to give you certain lessons. I'm going to teach you principles. I'm going to give you certain vital information. I'm going to give you an exposition of who I am. I'm going to give you a revelation of who I am. And I want you to stay in the brookside Cherith until the time. And God then said, you stay there. And then, now guess what? So the water of the brook Cherith was flowing and the ravens were feeding. Then all of a sudden, the ravens stopped and the, and, the, and the Cherith dried up. The brook dried up. Now when the brook dried up, then God then said to Elijah, Now you leave uh, Brookside Cherith and go to Zarephath for there. And God used the word there. So here are a few principles. Now, sometimes there's a commanded geography in our lives, a spiritual geography or physical geography, where God will say, okay, there are things I want to do with you here. Then, when it is time for you to move there, I'm going to create certain natural things. I'm going to create certain events. I'm going to do some things that is going to stare at your discomfort. That is going to, that is going to attack your comfort. That is, going to, that is going to attack your comfort. So he dries up the brook. Why? Because I have finished the lessons of the brookside cherry. And now I want you to go and demonstrate the lessons you've learned at Zarephath. That is the next phase of your life. So you know what I'm trying to say? Sometimes God dries up our brooks. And, and you got to see it. See, the brook is dried up. Sometimes brooks of friendship, God dries it up. Sometimes brook of, 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 of comfort, God dries it up. And he creates, he introduces discomfort. Because if the brook dries up, it's not a comfortable feeling. If the brook dries up and the ravens are not bringing food, then Elijah is walking into the zone of starvation. But God then tells him, I've dried it up. So you're working in a company and all of a sudden the brook dries up. You're fellowshipping with somebody or you, you're, with, you, you're with this thing and the brook dries up. And sometimes it's time for you to move on. Because when the brook dries up and you stay there, you're going to be hungry and you're going to, and you're going to be thirsty. And you're going to starve and, be th and, th and die there. So sometimes God dries up our brook Cherith and he introduces us to Zarephath. And let me just say this. Zarephath is not a comfortable place. Zarephath is where it's a smelting furnace. Where iron is melted. Where resolve might seem to disappear. Where the challenges that are in Zarephath are so hard and difficult that it, it will be daunting. Zarephath is a fearful prospect. Zarephath is an uncomfortable prospect. But there... There's going to be divine sustenance. There, you're going to meet humanity. There, human beings are going to be the source of your blessing, not birds. God sometimes introduces spiritual geography into our lives. And some of these things become, make themselves manifest in the physical. And God dries up our brook in order to bring us to fellowship at Zarephath. In order to teach us that, listen, you can create, you can speak, and it will come to pass. You can command out of nothing and it will come to pass. The gift of miracles are, 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 have, been, have been planted surely in you. 
You are a candidate for the operation of the gift of working of miracles. Leave Cherith and go to Zarephath. For there, there's divine sustenance. Your resistance and your and your ignorance and your and, and your and your decision to stay at the at the brook of Cherith and you don't want to leave that place, the brook will dry up and uh, the ravens will not come there anymore. The joy of fellowship, the joy of everything is going to be taken away, and you starve. For there is a day somewhere where God is bringing you into something new, something more powerful. So, it's a choice you have to make to obey the voice of God and move on. See you later.